Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today I'm going to be painting Slave 1 for Star Wars Armada. I've been really, really excited to get this one. I really want to see what it can do on the tabletop. It's probably going to get destroyed every time it appears because it's one of those ships that everyone's going to recognise straight away. I think it looks brilliant though and I've been really excited to get some paint on it. That being said, before we get started on that painting, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so if you've seen any of my videos before, if you're familiar with anything I do, the first thing we want to do is get some base paint on the miniatures so the paint uh, sticks nicely to them when we try and actually paint them. Uh, I do that with this sort of a contraption. I get a cardboard box, stick a load of sticks in there, pop a little bit of blue tack on the end of the sticks and stick the ships to it and do it in a batch. It's a really, really easy way to get the, uh, the paint on an even coverage around the mini. Once you've sprayed up your mini, you get something looking a little bit like this. Now I've popped it into the stand that it comes with for the actual game, just to make it a little bit easier to handle. These are very, very small and very difficult to paint if you try and hold them in your fingers. So I find that's the easiest way, but you know, do it however you find uh, easier, to be honest. Now the first paint I'm going to be using is a contrast paint called Black Templar. And that's to paint the window, which is the big main thing really. You can see on the reference image just on the left of the screen there that yes it's see-through on there and it's not necessarily black but you know when we see uh, in space we see it floating around it's the closest thing we can get I'm also going to paint some of the areas just at the rear of the vessel as well this black sort of a uh, color because it drops into the recesses really really nicely and there's so much detail on the rear of this vessel that it's going to work really really well pull away from those raised areas and it's going to give it all a gray effect and it's going to look really effective um, once it's all finished so the next color we're going to go with is the uh, gray sort of a color which is a basilicum gray another contrast paint but I found it's really really easy to pick out some of the details on vessels this small because you've got there is a lot of detail on the vessels um, you don't really want to like wash any of it out using sort of normal paint so I, the contrast paints work really well because they drop into the recesses nicely and pull away from those raised areas meaning you get a really nice effect without actually having to make that much effort at all and that the the areas are concentrated on we're around obviously the, you know the wings shall we call them and the weapons there and the next stage is all those red areas um it's i've used evil sun scarlet i'm not a contrast paint this time uh, mainly because i had it out on my desk uh, one of the things that you must try and remember to do if you if you use this technique is paint at the edge of the rear as well because i, I did notice once i started to paint the front um that when i I spun it round you uh, had essentially a white line around the edges which looked a little bit weird so do make sure you try and cover all the panel there just on the rear you can see there got a white line which looks a bit strange so try and uh, remember to do that bit as well and it'll look really really good um, especially once you've mixed it with a little bit of null null as well it all sort of blends together which you'll see at the end of the video one of the other main colours on uh, Boba Fett's Slave 1 is the green sort of a colour and I'm going to be using uh, Wag Flesh for that one. Um, the Wag Flesh is a, another Games Workshop paint. Uh, it's a, just a mid sort of green that I had sat on my, on my painting table for quite some time. And it actually works really well for this I think. I think it's not too far off the colour of the, uh, the, the, the actual vessel that we see on screen. And if you just follow the reference image as much as possible, there's those two sort of bulbous areas either side of the, the, the vessel. A few little details just on the front there as well. You just try and stick to that as much as possible. You can't go wrong. Uh, one of the things I will point out is I'm using a very, very fine tip brush to actually pick it out these details because it is such a small craft. Uh, you don't want to, you know, you know, put too much paint on there. 
the engines themselves are a yellow sort of a color so i've gone with avalanche sunset as a base if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know uh, what i'm about to do essentially which is get an even lighter yellow called flash gits yellow and just drop it into the center and what this does is create a glowing effect because you have a darker yellow around the edge with a bright yellow center and it looks really really cool at the end of it then one of the the main things to do um with these is give it a really nice wash i'm using uh, games workshops and null oil there are a few army painter washes and things out there you can use but i found null oil is really really good for these vessels it's very very thin very light you can stick it on there it drops into the recesses really nicely and adds in all that detail and while arguably a lot of other washes will do the same thing i do prefer null oil when working with vessels of this size or miniatures of this size anyway but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, I think the mini looks brilliant. It's pretty much spot on for what I wanted it to look like. I'd love to be able to get some more detail on there, but because it's so small, you're not really going to be able to see anything. But I think it looks great. The yellow looks brilliant as well with those, uh, like the engines, I think are absolutely spot on. And the only thing left to do is see how he performs on the tabletop. Thanks for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boris and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.